now i am going to show you how to import and export data from microsoft sql server to microsoft excel using enterprise manager of sql server so to start sql server go to start programs microsoft sql expand and you have to open enterprise manager but before that we have to start the service manager this is just for starting sql so start it click on it and you can see this drum this server box and this icon of stopped just click on play button so now you can see the stop icon has been removed and the play icon have come here and here it is written running and you can see it is loaded here also so sql service manager have started so now close this one now open enterprise manager go to start program sql and the first one enterprise manager so you can see this is the first screen maximize it now you can see microsoft sql servers click on it again and amit off this is the main which we are using now go to databases so now you can see few databases are here let's use tcm database for importing and exporting so click here go to tables now you can see 212 items are there so when we import from excel from a sheet for every sheet it will add one table so i will show you how so first of all open one excel sheet start run excel and press okay to open excel so now you can see excel have opened now here you can write 1 2 here 11 12 and here let's write 21 22 three columns select it and expand till 10 so now you can see data from 1 to 10 11 to 20 and 21 to 30 so this is sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 are blank and in sheet 1 i have left first two rows and first two columns so you can place the data anywhere in the sheet and keep the focus anywhere now save and you can save in c drive let the name be book one only so save so after this come to sql and now right click on the table or anywhere and in all tasks you can select two options import and export options are there if you right click on database and all tasks you will see a lot of options will come but import and export is also there so it is better to right click on a table and all tasks so that less options can come now we need import import means bring data from other application other software to sql and export means from sql to send to any other software so we need import so click on import you see this is called dts data transformation service is used for import export now click on next now it says from where you want to import so click here and click at the top so you can select how many excels are there microsoft excel 3 4 5 and 97 2000 so xp also comes in this category sometime if you are not sure you can try different options till you get the right one so click on it now it asks for file name give the browse button and select c drive select the file name and open and say next you can see some message is coming could not open file for reading close any other application that may be locking the file okay this message is coming because this file is open here so you have to close it press the cross button so excel is closed press ok and now press next so now you can see the next screen have come it means it have taken the last one so last time it was source now it is destination from source means from, from where you want to take that is excel and destination means where you want to put we want to put in microsoft oledb provider for sql server actually this means 
we are importing to SQL. The server name, username, password. If you have any database name, all is normal. So just say next. Okay. Now you can see there is a screen. Copy table and view from the source database or use a query to specify the data to transfer. So we want whole data. So you can select the first one and say next. So now you can see source seat 1, seat 2, seat 3. So as that Excel file had three seats, that's why three are coming. Destination and transform. So select the first one. So you can see this destination comes automatic. So meaning of this is it will copy this seat to TCM database DBO and under the table seat one dollar. So this name, if you want any other name, you can give any different name. If you press preview, you can see it will bring this way. It will make three columns F1, F2, F3 and put the data this way. The first row is doesn't comes. So it have ignored the first one. Actually, it should not do this. You can see again that starting with 2, 12 and 22. 1, 11 and 21 are missing. So sources say seat 1 up to first 100 lines. So for the time being let's say OK. And next. So now you have other options. Let, let this option be selected. Run immediately and say next. And just say finished. So now you can see a message have come successfully copied one table from microsoft excel 97 to 2000 to microsoft sql server just say ok so now you can see the steps so the first step was create table tcm database under the database table name seat one dollar thus it is completed now the second step was copy data from seat one to database tcm and table seat one completed nine means nine record it have copied so here you can you can see from excel to sql so the work is done so now you can find you can see 212 items are there it was last time also it was 212 it should become 213 so you might have to refresh so right click and refresh so now you can see it have become 213 and the table name is here c21 dollar so now just double click on it so you can see it have added three columns column one column two column three and automatically data type it have added float now press ok and now right click open tables and return all rows to see what type of data it have added it have added data like this but it have not added the first one that is something silly so we'll try importing in different ways to see what it does so you can close it minimize go to my computer c drive and see the file book one and let's open it and see again so you can see the data exits here but it have ignored the first one if there is a problem that it always does it what you can do you can copy and paste so ignore this one and add this part so let's save and let's import and see the output so i will not run all the steps i will directly show you the output you can do yourself but basically what you can do you can come to the sql in this table you can right click and say delete and drop all so that table is deleted now again it have become 212 now do all the import steps and then see the database so ignoring the basic steps in the movie if i press preview so you can see now column the first row value is coming that it was 1 11 and 21 because i have added two times now let's import completely and see the table so here you can see i have ignored the steps which i have taught earlier and i am showing you only the difference so you can see here 
complete 10 is coming now set done now in the table open table and return all rows so now you can see the first row is added till the 10 one so this is the end of our importing data from excel but i will show you few more differences of import if the data is randomly placed in excel in the next movie after this thank you